Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that weights of 10 wrestlers are noted as 210, 170, 187, 192, 190, 181, 150, 120, 200, 180 in kilograms. From the above data, find Q1, Q3 and interquartile range. Weights of 10 wrestlers are given as follows and from this set of data, we have to find lower quartile Q1, upper quartile Q3 and interquartile range. We know that for getting quartiles, we first arrange the given series in ascending order. Then we have lower quartile Q1 given by n plus 1 divided by fourth item and upper quartile Q3 is equal to 3 by 4 n plus 1th item and interquartile range is equal to upper quartile Q3 minus lower quartile Q1 and n is the Total number of elements in the series. We know that if n is the total number of elements in the series, then lower quartile Q1 is given by n plus 1 whole divided by foot item Upper quartile Q3 is given by 3 by 4 multiplied by n plus 1 at item and interquartile range is given by the difference of upper quartile and lower quartile. With this key idea, we proceed to the solution. Now in the question, weights of 10 wrestlers are given as follows. We have to calculate Q1, Q3 and interquartile range from this given set of data. Now using the key idea for getting quartiles, we first need to arrange the given weights in ascending order. That is, First, arrange the given weights in ascending order then we get the ordered list of weights as 120, 150, 170, 180, 181, 187, 190, 192, 200 and 210. Here the weights of 10 wrestlers are given so, 
we get the value of n as 10. Now, we'll first find q1, that is lower quartile range, using the key idea, which gives the value of q1, given by n plus 1 by fifth item. So, we can write q1 is equal to value of n plus 1 by fourth item. We know that the value of n is 10. So we can write value of 10 plus 1 by fourth item which is equal to the value of 2 decimal 7 5 item which can be written as value of second item plus decimal 7 5 multiplied by value of third minus second item. Now, from the sorted series of weights, we have the value of second item as 150 and the value of third item is 170. On putting the values, we get 150 plus decimal 75 can be written as 3 by 4 multiplied by value of third item which is 170 minus value of second item which is 150 equal to 150 plus 3 by 4 multiplied by 20 which get cancelled with 4 and this 150 plus 15 equal to 165. Hence we have got Q1 equal to 165. Now we shall find the value of upper quartile Q3 using the key idea which gives Q3 equal to 3 by 4 multiplied by n plus 1th item. So we write Q3 equal to value of 3 by 4 multiplied by n plus 1th item and value of n is 10 so we get value of 3 by 4 10 plus 1th item which further gives value of 8 decimal 2 fifth item which can be written as value of 8 item plus decimal 2 five multiplied by value of 9th item minus 8th item. Now from the series, we get the value of 8th item as 192 and the value of 9th item as 200. The value of 8th item is 192 plus decimal 2 5 can be written as 1 by 4 multiplied by value of ninth item which is 200 minus value of 8th item which is 192. On further simplification we get 192 plus 1 by 4 multiplied by 8 which is equal to 192 plus 2 which is equal to 194 so we get the value of upper quartile 
Q3 as 194. Now we shall find interquartile range. Using the key idea, we get the value of interquartile range as the difference of upper quartile and lower quartile that is Q3 minus Q1. We have already calculated the value of Q1 and Q3. Now we can easily find the value of interquartile range using the key idea given by Q3 minus Q1. We know the value of Q3 is 194 minus the value of Q1 is 165. 165. So we get the difference as 29. So we get the value of interquartile range as 29. Therefore, we conclude that lower quartile Q1 is equal to 165, upper quartile Q3 is equal to 194 and interquartile range is equal to 29 which is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood it well.